Welcome back to the Sharp 49ers Dynasty. We're jumping right into Season 2 as we welcome the Wake Forest Demon Deacons to defend the 704. No surprise here, we're going to kick the ball off to make sure the second half is when we can build momentum or continue momentum. Woo! Going to be having a lot of touchbacks this year. They're going to spread us out to start the game, and that was on me. Well, that is not how you want to start the year. Thank you for stopping them on that 33-yard game. Not how we wanted to start the year. Oh, missed tackles. The story of our life ending last season and already coming into play in season two. Almost another broken tackle, but Wayne Jones was able to get him down. Stone Handy able to come up with that tackle third and four. Now, I know we said we wanted to bring some blitzes. However, with them spreading us out, it's very difficult. We did try to bring a blitz off that right side. Oh, if only Hughes would have stepped up a little sooner. Oh, my goodness. We blew him up in the backfield, but of course he was able to break the tackle. And then we pulled him into the end zone. We're going down 7-0. That first drive left a lot to be desired. It'll be the last way we wanted to start this year off, giving up a touchdown. No surprise here. We're going with the run. Shadrick Bird did pick up a little bit of speed, so he was able to get a few more yards than what he would have last year. New man at the helm, Foster, does have better throw accuracy and throw power than Reynolds. Go with some easy slants. Wow, that was way off target. And, of course, we weren't able to get the ball out. Oh, no. Foster's down. Last year, here's our kicker. This year, here's our punter. That was almost blocked. Holy cow, they were coming after it, huh? Woo, able to pin them within the 20. Let's go defense. Good stop. Thankfully, Foster was not too hurt and he will be able to return to the game. And we got faked out there. There was some pressure coming right up the middle, which is why Griffiths kept it. There we go, Burton. Not able to take him down, but Jalar Holly was able to come in, clean that up for a sack. His first sack of the season. Our first sack as a unit. Second and 10. Whoa, my goodness. We absolutely should have stopped him in the backfield. Thankfully, our defensive tackle, Miguel Jackson, was able to stop him. Third and seven. Let's get off the field, guys. Oh, first pick of the season. Good job, Newsom. Not able to get away, but we did force that turnover. First interception of the season, and that is going to set us up in great field position. We're going to go ahead and try to get a little bit going in the passing game. Do that on first down as Foster is back in. Get him a little bit of momentum. Just an easy pass right there. Good job, Nathan Gruel. I said Nathan. His name's Nolan. See if we can catch him off guard and over pursue in this counter. Eh, better than nothing. See if our tight end can do anything for us. Wow. Just a flat out drop. Third and nine. Let's hope we at least come away with a field goal. Not ideal, but got to take what we can get. Good job, oh, Patton. I foresee drops being a big part of this year. Our converted punter making his first field goal. Seven to three. Another touchback. And it wouldn't let me make the proper audible. It kept me on the cornerback. I was trying to get more people on the running back. Oh, Bama, good job coming through with that tackle for a one-yard gain. We are going to change the big hits to higher tackle chance. Get off that Boykins. Oh, Whitehead coming up with that big hit. Third and one. Not quite able to stop him. 11-yard gain for them. Seven rushes for 71 yards. That's not how we're going to win games. Nice blitz there. Will result in a loss of three. Good job, Whitehead. Ooh, Whitehead again. Ah, a nice stop. Fourth and seven is going to bring this quarter to an end. We are down seven to three. They're going to go for a field goal, and hopefully we'll be able to return this. It looks like we will be able to, and unfortunately, the option to change. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are we going to do it? Woo! Woo! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, sorry! Woo! We returned the field goal attempt for a touchdown. Holy cow! 100 yards was the record. 107 yards is what we did. 
we pulled a kick six not quite the same fashion as the iron bolt from 2013 but that was beautiful cedric ursery back there one of our fastest defensive men was able to get around that edge make a few moves and get that touchdown that's phenomenal and just like that we're up 10 to 7. these charlotte 49er fans are hyped right now as they see what we can do with a little bit of space another touchback oh stone handy Coming in on that blitz, making sure he didn't get any more yardage. Oh, Agbaugh, I wanted him to come forward, but we were able to push him out. Hopefully, they do not try to challenge that. Bringing Bema on the blitz. Oh, Newsom, you just weren't back enough. I even put you in a pink zone to be back there. Dang, Boykins got bodied by Ellison. My goodness. Just able to get that in. I don't like how my defensive back seems so timid. Getting that tackle for no gain. Jalar Holly's coming up big for us with three already. Pressure from the left. Whitehead coming up with a big hit. Unfortunately, not until after the first down. Ah, faked out again. Our defensive unit cannot get them. Looks as though we are going to need to have quarterback spy because they are killing us. Nice job, Agbaugh, coming up with that tackle for loss. No, 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 no. That wasn't the catch. Let's look at this replay real quick. Yep, he got it. They were able to pick up third and long. Stone Handy with a nice hit. He might be down. He is, as you see through this play call screen. New guy coming in, not throwing a pass. Gets it pretty perfect on the dot right there. And if Wayne Jones saw the play getting ready to develop and just decided, nah, I'm going to see if a cornerback can make that play alone. Three minutes and 49 seconds left in the first half with their quarterback being out the next two quarters. Unfortunate for us, it seems as though their backup is just as good. It's early. It's early. There we go, bird make that play. Eight yard gain. This formation will allow us to utilize both of our fullbacks. Let's see what they can do. Not a whole lot if our linemen can't even hold up. Thankfully, we were able to get the first down. They're bringing some pressure, so we're gonna have to get rid of this quick. Gruel coming down with the catch. I don't usually like tosses, but one yard is better than nothing. There we go, Clemens just short of the first down i have it as a counter catch him over pursuing there we go bird i usually don't like draws but i feel like that was a pretty good call enough to get it to be third manageable nice Patton. first down use that speed james foster with a 16 yard run he only had to beat the middle linebacker who ended up getting caught up in some traffic nice touchdown run that's something we didn't have last year in chris reynolds now with james foster being more mobile with almost 20 more speed we are able to call plays like that with 21 seconds left we have taken the lead 17 14 another touchback Looks like they are going to let the clock run down to halftime. As the clock hits triple zeros, we are going into halftime leading 17 to 14. Look at Shane Falco, very proud of his team coming back from that early deficit, but there's still a lot of game left to defend the 704. We will get the ball to start this second half. Make something happen, Bird. Ah, oh, just a little bit more speed and you're making a lot more out of that good nine yard gain. Two fullback set again. Let's see if we can pick up this yard. Oh yes. Oh my gosh, off target. He baited me. Nice blitz drawn up. Nice one yard loss. Oh, wide open. Third and one. We're going to sell out. It paid off. Loss of three. Fourth and four. Stone Handy with another tackle for loss. But we're going with a tunnel screen. Well, that didn't go as planned. And you overthrew him. They're bringing some pressure. Nice. Singletary able to haul that in for his first reception of the year. Whoop. Getting that linebacker to over pursue and getting out in open space. Boom! Run over some people. Down to the 23. Cummins might be open. And oh, he is. Whoa! I thought for sure I'd throw an interception. Thankfully, Clemens was able to make a nice move to the inside to catch that and take it in. This is a great way to start this year off. We're looking to go up 10 now another touchback oh that was on me i clicked on him and of course he didn't do what i wanted to do when i told him to do it dang gone it man not able to get enough pressure on him oh my goodness of course oh you almost had that tackle oh you decided to fiddle for the lead is cut only to a field goal 
Nice little underneath route on that play action. Second and five. Block. There we go. There we go. Just short fullback dive. That's Big Will Culver. He is 275 pounds, rumbling, bumbling style. Going into the fourth quarter, we are winning 24-21. There's still a quarter of football left, so that's a lot of time for us to screw up or take this to triple zeros with a win in our season opener. Third and six. Nice little underneath route. First down, Roger Walters. Get to the outside. Woo! You got more speed than Bird. Go, 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 go. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Oh, no. Bird fumbled. I don't know if he was going to be down. Thank you, Nolan Gruel. And it's going to be challenged anyway. Oh, he was down. No biggie. He was down. Yep. Ground caused the fumble. There we go, Clemens. You were able to turn up and make that first down. It was a nice pass on the run by Foster. There we go, getting Culver. That touchdown run right up the middle, killing all fantasy hopes for Mr. Shadrick Bird. And we're up by 10 at home with just under five minutes left. And another touchback. Oh, Doug Newsom! You were able to get the tackle, but you weren't able to literally turn around and see that ball whiz past your head. Come on! Boykin's coming up, stuff in the middle. Your first tackle of the game, which was a tackle for loss. We are bringing pressure as the outside linebackers come in. And oh my gosh, Valerian Agba, as I said before, terrible in that slot. Oh no, I thought. Oh, that must have been like third effort. Let's see this replay, see if we did stop him. That might be enough to challenge. Ooh, I don't know. Do we want to challenge it? Yes, let's challenge it. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? He was able to float in the air before going down. We'll see what the game says. Ah, oh, it stands. Probably going to kick this deep and use timeouts. And there goes one of our timeouts because I swore they were going to kick it deep and it looks like Shane Falco was outsmarted. Let's get this back, fellas. What? Who got the ball? Of course they did. Are you kidding me? Okay, they got out of bounds. Are you... No! Are you kidding me? We had him in the backfield, and then he's just going to run for another 20 yards? That's embarrassing. Oh, Whitehead, you were coming up, and of course you got caught in an animation, so you weren't able to do anything. Good job, Boykins. There we go. Nice stop. They do call one of their timeouts as it's third and nine. Worst goes worse, they're going to get a field goal. And of course, they we're just able to fit that in over my cornerback's head. I had Agba coming on that blitz and Jones was able to come up and stop him. Third and 10, they have 40 seconds left. Newsome of, really? No words. Unable to get the tackle, of course. We have 36 seconds left. This is embarrassing. This is silly. I can't even believe we're in this situation. We were up 10 with two minutes left. Now let's just hope that James Foster isn't gonna crap the bed. And of course, you're friggin' kidding me. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing, because I told him to throw it to the outside and Shane Falco is embarrassed. <laughs> we were able to still knock him down. Foster. That's not going to cut it, dude. This stat line right here. I'm glad you only got sacked once, but that's not going to cut it. That's also not going to cut it. We only had three drops, but we couldn't put the ball on the money to save our life. We did have some pancakes, so that was good. Our leading tackler, safety. Second leading tackler, 
cornerback. Third leading tackler, safety. Fourth leading tackler, cornerback. Defensive backs should not be your leading tacklers. One sack by Jalar Holly. One interception. No return. That was great. This is embarrassing. They almost doubled our total yardage. They almost doubled our passing yardage. We both did great on third down. Of course they picked up a fourth down. The red zone percentage did. They were in our red zone six times. They scored five touchdowns. That's not going to cut it. Had we not had to settle for that field goal, we could have won, but shoulda, coulda, woulda. As embarrassing as that loss was, it was more because of the mistakes that we made and the fluke onside recovery that they had on their onside kick. But we will be traveling to Chapel Hill next week to take on the Tar Heels, who are ranked ninth in the nation. Let's hope that we can bring a win back to the 704 as we come off this terrible loss to the Demon Deacons. Go Niners!